Uh, we'll continue with the previous uh, class. Uh, today we, uh, we discuss upon um, uh, previous class. We discuss upon pre uh, study state error uh, and uh, error for various types of inputs. Okay, we continue with that. Then uh, we discussed about the uh, poles and zeros. Okay, right. Then uh, what's the type number? Type number uh, if the uh, it decides the number of poles at the origin for the open loop system. So that is the type number. So what is the value? First step input, ramp input, and parabolic input. What is the value of pushing error constant, velocity error constant, and acceleration error constant, and the uh, steady state error uh, we discuss upon now. Right. Um, so here for type 0 system, that is k, the question error value is k. This error is u will be 1 plus k. Then uh, for type 1 system, if it is kt value is infinity, steady state error is 0. Then for uh, type 2 systems, kt value is infinity and steady state error is 0. Similarly, for ramp input, the velocity error constant for type 0 system is 0. Steady state error is infinity. Here for type 1 system, velocity error is k, velocity being constant. Then steady state error is a divided by k. Similarly, for type 2 system, velocity error constant is infinity and the steady state error is 0. Right. Like this, for parabolic input, k acceleration error constant type for type 0 system is 0. Okay, okay. Uh, acceleration uh, coefficient is zero. Steady state error is infinity for type zero system. For type one system, a value is zero. ESS is infinity. Then for type two system, acceleration constant is k. Steady state error is a divided by Time response, transient response. So till now we have discussed upon a steady state response. Maybe next we discuss upon a transient response. Right. So transient response is nothing but the response of the system. Uh, what is the response of, of the system changes from one state to another state? For a sudden change in its input, that state we call this transient response. Right. We realize that that is ESS, that is uh, uh, steady state error, error uh, was uh, dependent on type of the system, that is number of poles the system had at the origin. Right. The transient response of the system depends on the order of the system. So, steady state response depends on. Uh, type of the uh, type of the system and then the response depends on order of the system right order of the system what is order of the system order of the system is the highest power of s in the denominator of closed loop transfer function in um, steady state uh, that is number of uh, that is uh, zeros Type of the system depends on the number of poles at the origin. For open loop system, here zero, that is order, depend on closed loop system. Okay, now that is the power of S of closed loop transfer function. Right. That is the difference. Type is open loop, order we have to calculate for closed loop system. Right. Hence, for transient response, we need to work with closed loop transfer function. So what is closed loop transfer function? We all know g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. Okay, right. So look into this graph. So if there is a sudden impulse, then it starts increasing. The response starts suddenly increasing. That is from 0 uh, to infinity. Okay, so here this value, final value, and the actual value, the difference is equal to steady state error. The time period from where uh, the response attains constant, that period equal to steady state response. 
Meaning anything equal to transient response. Right. Then we move on to analysis of our first order system. So order depends on uh, order depends on number of zeros of closed loop transfer function. Right. So first order uh, transfer function g of s equals c of s by r of s equals k to be two in this plus one. Okay. So we have to derive the transfer functions for the following circuit. So in this circuit, there is one resistance and capacitance connected to the ground. Input voltage is Vi, output voltage is V0. Right. Then the transfer function G of S equals 1 by RC dS plus 1. That is the resistance and capacitance dS plus 1. So this is uh, the equation for this uh, uh, first order system. The remaining things will continue in the next class.